Alty, do not use exclamation mark. What are we looking at today? Well, I'm looking at an oven. It's not a cooking oven, but it's a sterilizing and drying oven. It's not worked for years. Somebody just asked me to have a look at it, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I have to admit, I've had this powered up just a few minutes ago, just to see what happened. So I'll just go through that, and then we'll start talking about what the problem might be. I'll pop the camera down on the ground. So having to work on the ground here today, it's just too heavy to lift up onto the bench, really. And if I switch the unit on, there is a, an on-off switch on the side, and then there is a power button. It actually does power up. Not a bad start. <laughs> Who says there's a problem with this? I don't know. Anyway, it looks like we've got temperature showing in the indicator here, and that's pretty typical. It's about 20 odd degrees outside, so yeah, 18 degrees here in the garage. And if I think I press this button, it toggles through three different settings. Uh, temperature, obviously, of the probe. I think this is a temperature setting, set value. And then the last one is some sort of timer. So I'm not interested in the timer. I'm just going to set the temperature, leave it on 82. It doesn't really matter. Now, if I press run and stop, it does actually start up. The light comes on. But within a couple of seconds, bang. So yeah, not happy. And we've got an error code. Error 03. And as luck would have it, let me just silence that alarm. Thank you very much. And with, uh, as I say, as luck would have it, I actually have a manual. And I'm not too sure whether you can see this. But um, it talks about error. 03 indicated in display and it's about a triac going short circuit mm. okay all right time to switch it off and get inside Wiring diagram. <laughs> hmm. Quite old school in here. So we've just got a looks like a single sided uh, board in here. The processor. The thermocouple looks like it coming in on this left hand side here, rather here rather. Um, ooh, that looks a bit uh, how are you doing? And so does this. Oh. Time to look at the diagram, I think. Uh, and as I say, there's, a, there's actually a wiring diagram on the back of the panel. Mm, that makes things a lot easier. Don't do that so much these days, do they? I'll come back in a minute when I've had a chance to look at it. Okay, um, yeah, that, now there's definitely something wrong with this here. That triac there in the centre of the picture is not the original triac anyway, so it looks like somebody's tried to repair that at some stage. I've managed to go online and download a, a full 
wiring diagram so yeah the, the wiring diagram on the back of the panel here was useful but I've actually found a more detailed one online and I'll show you that in a minute but that triac now is not original and neither is this rather thing flapping around in the breeze this um, an X2, yeah, X2 capacitor that is supposed to be a MOV metal oxide varista so yeah I'm not too sure whether that repair ever worked or whether somebody had to go yeah failed just left it but uh, let's see if we can find the original part and get that installed instead okay here we are on the desktop and I've been lucky and managed to find a whole PDF service manual for this particular oven and we're looking at the wiring or circuit diagram rather for for this particular unit it's rather small but I am hoping that you can see up in this top right hand corner we've got the triac and you can just see the mob sitting across the terminals there the wiring coming into this connector here and indeed the gate of the triac is driven through an opto isolator if I move on to the wiring diagram now this is a diagram that indeed was on the back of the panel itself and is much simpler you can see the main board here is just denoted by this uh, single rectangle we've got all the connectors shown on the periphery and the triac is connecting in through connector one here the red the orange and the yellow uh, the uh, gate uh, being on the red here just a little bit of a query now the varista is showing across these terminals here so yeah not not too sure about that another very interesting page in the manual though is we've got the triac is denoted here uh, so I've got an actual part number that I've been able to search for and I found uh, a PDF for that particular part and yeah here we go it's a triac indeed it looks different from the one that's in there it uh, seems to have some sort of tabbed metal back although it's uh, an isolated molded type um, and yeah a triac um, if, if you don't know it's a fairly straightforward device it's two diodes back to back um, I guess quite similar to having two SCRs or thyristors back to back the third leg being the gate that um, switches these uh, the current that allows the rather allows the current to flow in either direction depending on which uh, phase of the AC is running at that particular time. So yeah, I've been able to find this device, the original equipment, on eBay. So I've placed an order for it, a few dollars. Uh, it's going to take me, uh, as rather, it's going to take around about three weeks. I assume to come from Hong Kong or China. Um, so we'll get back to the video at that point. So finally here we are about three weeks later um, just received this uh, triac through the post all the way from China sold as a new part not too sure it is though I think I can see some evidence of where it's been clamped to a surface before and those spade terminals don't look mm, perfectly clean to me either also I'm not very happy because it was sent in a non-anti-static bag, it was just straight inside that envelope. Gee, I don't know. Let's hope it survived the journey. Um, I also bought a pack of mobs from RS Components. So, yeah, hopefully they're made in China too. But, yeah, hopefully these ones are working and no problems. So let's just get ahead and put the actual item in, see if it makes any difference to this unit. Okay, now I have a wiring diagram, so I'm not so worried about just disconnecting these. Everything's disconnected, yep. That's good. That's good. So that can just come off in one go. Hands being in the way. That's quite a long screw. Okay. Don't need that. Let's 
I'm going to clean this up a bit for this. And we'll look to see whether. Those two holes match up there. Now this triac has got an isolated back, isolated mould type. And the three legs, um, there's two for the two diodes, and then there's this other leg here which is a thinner leg which, looking off the data sheet, is the gate. And indeed, that spade is just ever so slightly smaller. That matches up with the wiring diagram that the red is indeed the gate. So, and the other two, I don't think it really matters which goes on which. And that one way up there. And the only other thing is, how did they have the MOV mounted? Without seeing the original installation, I'm not too sure, but on the wiring diagram, the MOV goes across T1 and T2, so it goes across from here to here. think about that and come back. Okay, me back again. Um, my mistake, actually the MOV is already installed. It's this one here in this plastic sleeving. It's crossed the live and the neutral as you'd expect. Um, I got confused because this old uh, triac had this X2 capacitor and I thought somebody tried to use an X2 capacitor as a, as a MOV. Mm, don't know why. Uh, anyway, everything looks okay. All I need to do really is get this uh, gooped up with a little bit of uh, paste, heat transfer paste. Let's get it mounted and we'll see whether the unit works. Just covering that area. Yeah, as I said, it's an insulated back, or moulding rather, so don't have to worry about any insulation between the triac and the chassis of the machine, although I will check it afterwards with a meter, make sure everything's okay. This cabinet's all metal, I guess it's painted, but it's uh, basically all metal cabinet. That's the first one. And tight. Tighten that one up. Yeah, got a bit of paste squeezing out. That should be okay. Pop the top back on. Everything's looking okay. Very unusual these, I think. Um, maybe it's uh, old-fashioned. Obviously, if, if this component were to explode or, or somehow catastrophically go wrong, uh, there's a secondary sort of um, covering over them. The other ones are. Uh, a diode. So, just carefully placing those back in there. Oops. Wiring looks okay. Let's just push this back in position. And I will just pop one screw in. The top here just to stop this. off and let's give it a test. I'll just move the camera around to the front. So, power. 
it on. Got it plugged in. Switched on. Power back on again. Interesting that that sort of ramps up. I uh, haven't really seen that effect before with a the thermocouple. Um, okay, call again. Leave it on 82 degrees centigrade. And let's try start. I can hear the convection fan is spinning up. Nothing's gone bang yet. And I'll shut the door. And we should see that temperature start to rise up, I hope. Maybe I'll just speed the video up for you guys here, but I'll leave it running and see what, uh, see what happens to the temperature. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, can't really expect you to watch too much of uh, <laughs> an oven warming up and cooling down. Uh, it seems to have reached its set point temperature. Indeed, it sort of overshot by about eight, nine degrees at one point. Anyway, I, I can't be uh, held responsible for the algorithm inside the controller there. Everything seems to be working fine now. Just need to clean the oven up and remove the sticker. What do you think? Has the green smoke gone back inside? Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. Like it, subscribe it, make a comment, whatever. See you on the next one.